my. Hey, what's up, everybody? I figured this would be something uh, of a really cool idea for the opening of Crafties for Cheap season three. One of the things that I've heard from like a great friend of ours is these really good words. Like, in order to make good food, you gotta eat good food. And uh, this weekend is actually the Dream Food Fest up in an American Dream. And uh, well, that quote came from uh, Chef Josh Walbert from, uh, if you guys haven't seen who he is, he's been on our channel before, but he is on Secret Chef on Hulu. And actually, he's here right now. We're gonna go find him. And uh, yeah, we're gonna try to get some good food. So something that I could bring back to stuff in the production. Let's go. watching our channel you guys know who chef wow. josh is the thing is i met you about a year and some change ago and i never put out that vlog can you just introduce yourself again what's up i'm chef joshua wobble aka chef arugula you know what it is we're out here uh love food more because we know you love food but the goal is to get you love food more i've been cooking up for about 15 years uh, I've trained mission star restaurants, so now I own my own business. We have our own hot sauce company called Baby Daddy's Hot Sauce. Yes! Uh, we do farmer's markets every Thursday. We do pop-up, private dining events. And basically, we just cook up anything, man. Cook up content, cook up food, whatever it gets people to love food more. That's the idea. I think there's a capacity of love. Once you learn that love is never just like flat, you have to like, right. continue to grow it. It's like, that's the whole point of us like, coming out this weekend. Yeah. You know, we have productions, mm -hmm. and a, a way to cut costs is that we cater and, and like do our own craft, right? Course. So what you said, and I said earlier in the beginning of this video, is like, in order to make good food, you gotta eat good food, mm -hmm. right? I agree. So well, basically, I'm tasting, I'm tasting the world, baby. Like, I gotta see what's good. And this Dream Food Fest, it's like the first year? I think it's the oh first year they're doing it. It's supposed to be huge. We're, I think they're estimating 15,000 people, oh, right? Dude. I'm not gonna be there doing it. My wife wanted to do it. I was like, this is too much. There's no way we can be ready for 15,000 people this weekend. That, that so, is crazy, right? Yeah. So it's gonna be insane. I think there's like 100 plus food vendors from all over the tri-state area. So you will see but it's, food that's crazy. Go have a nice day. One of Josh's buddies here, right? Um, actually, could you give us a little um, intro? I'm not Chef Arugula, but I am uh, Chef Salty, as they call it, on <laughs> online. Uh, salty because my personality is That's, <laughs> well then, there we go. So do you guys actually have like a little store? Or... No, much like what Josh is doing, you take out or delivery. So the same exact way you would get the bowls right? is how you would order in my shop. I, I, how long have you been like, you know? For me, technically I've been at it 24 years. Uh, same kind of with Josh, we did, uh, we did Michelin, but not in the same right. restaurant together. Michelin was something else that I wanted, and then I got into it, and it wasn't for me. So oh. I went corporate way, which paid way more money after the pandemic, I'm like, I can do this. So right. I did, literally See? started my own thing. I was like, I've been doing this for forever. I know how to do the numbers. I know how to do all the motions. So ramen, this. Is this like, the only place where people could actually like get to you, like you know, to your cooking? Unless or? you catch me outside on the market, <laughs> you can catch me in uh, in my shop in Atlanta. Yeah. Oh, that's sweet. Like yeah, dude, that will definitely put up all the information. So you guys, please like follow. Uh, you know, the Chef Salty here on all the socials, dude, like, definitely will be, we'll be seeing you now. Then we're gonna see you again tomorrow. Oh, yeah, tomorrow's gonna be huge. Cause like, we ordered the, the pancit, sesame pancit. I know that's definitely not like a, a classic ramen bowl, oh, but it's like... it's not. No, no, no. So, um, I've been getting a lot of flag towards it. Of course. Obviously, being Filipino. Yeah. It's the old folks. Of like, course. This is not pancit, I'm not throwing, like, right? Yeah. Oh. All the attitude. This is not a traditional. I was like, yeah, I know it's not traditional. But then I asked them, um, this is very, I'm gonna look at the camera. Do you know what pancit means? So it just translates to noodles. That's the, all it is. Right. But it's a version of what we do in a toss variety. Um, but if you were to say that to another Filipino, they get very because it's not your traditional. Hey man, but like, I, I taste a little bit of the bok choy. It's like real good already. Can't wait till I actually chow down on it uh, when we get the other night. All right, thanks so much. Appreciate that. <laughs> finally drove back. Uh, I finally got to open up, um, like Josh's uh, tacos here, but this is actually the roughly the same menu when we first met him or when I first met him about a year ago. And I really, really fell in love with these Panarin curry tacos. And uh, I taste it, yeah. Mm. I love how he makes his Panarin curry. I have a, uh, the way I make it is a little more creamier, but like just it's his flavor is divine. And the fact that when he put it on a, on a taco, it, it, it's such a, such a great idea. And I feel like I wanna, this kind of gives me ideas on what I could do for Crafties for Cheap. And you know, the idea, like a taco is very simple. 
So I'm probably gonna make something. I'm not sure what Steph would like it, but definitely something I'm going to try. I almost forgot about the Chef Salty here. This uh, his brothless ramen dish called uh, sesame pancit. Mm. I mean, definitely not traditional at all in both Filipino dish and Japanese, but still good. Hopefully for the people that actually are going to the food fest, hopefully you guys enjoy it. This is beyond anything that I would be able to make right now, right? But, uh, but it, the inspiration is there. It definitely wants, uh, makes me want to cook better, especially for, you know, the people that we work with um, on our productions. So yeah, definitely uh, thank you again, Chef Salty and Chef Josh for um, letting me taste your, your delicious, delicious dishes. And I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Bye. All right, guys, thank you for watching Craft is for Cheap and thank you for supporting us and helping us keep, you know, making our indie films and web series here on our channel. And please consider supporting us by either becoming a patron on our Patreon or donating to us through our Fractured Atlas for those tax deductible options or picking up some of our merch on our site. But always remember to... Feed your production. Shout out to Sensei David. Yeah.